This is not a drill. Let him cook. Let him cook now. What's up guys, I hope you're having a great day. Long time no see, but I'm back with another great video. In this one, I wanna talk about this specific controller, which is the DualSense Edge controller, I think is what they call it. Uh, this is the controller that we got from PlayStation, the official release. Um, and this one actually is one I've been playing with a lot. Now, it's not the only controller that I work with uh, because I have several that I've built, but this is one that uh, I do play with quite often and I really do like what Sony did here for the most part. But you know me and as a controller modder, I wanted something different. So I reached out to Extreme Rate uh, via web search. Uh, they did not send me this. This is not a sponsored video, but I decided I wanted to do something different with this specific controller knowing that it already has paddles on the back, knowing that it already has a version of adaptive triggers where you have the switch so that you can go with the longer press, the intermediate, and then the short press. So I really like the controller overall, but I wanted to jazz it up a little bit. So I decided to go with Extreme Raid and do something a little different. Um, I will link in the description where I got this if you want to attempt this. This is not going to be exactly a step-by-step, -step, but it's just going to be me kind of messing around and figuring out what I want to do. I want to go ahead and unbox what you get. I've already looked at it, but I just want to show you. And what you have here is the clear shell. Now this is the not the whitest, the black clear shell. As you can see, it's a little darker, but I'm gonna take this controller and I'm gonna flip it to semi-clear and I'll explain in a second. Um, I do wanna keep some of the aspects of the controller that are black, um, but I'm gonna also um, keep some of the aspects that are clear. So what you get in this box is you get, of course, the back shell because it's a complete shell swap. Um, you get the front shell, which looks really good. I haven't taken this out, but we're going to look at it now. That looks really good as well. Um, I always like this compared to this one because I don't know how well y'all can see. I'm going to get close. Maybe y'all can see it or not. But this one can get a little nasty. So I like this clear one that looks dope. Uh, we'll get that. Uh, you do get all the face buttons, you get all the shoulder buttons, and you get the D-pad. I'm probably going to mix and match here um, like I do. Haven't decided yet, but I think I'm going to use the actual uh, face buttons only or the D-pad. I hadn't decided what I want to do, but I like the way these look. They look really good, so I'm probably going to keep one of the two. I may just keep my actual face buttons and switch out the D-pad for clear. Also, with the shoulder buttons, I'm not... I don't care a ton about these, uh, but I know that these are a pain to get out because they're adaptive. Um, and I don't know that it's worth the, the headache to get out because I do want to do a bit of a tuxedo kind of setup. Just want to get rid of and delete the white more than I want to do anything else. So I've never broken one of these apart before, so that should be pretty exciting. But again, this kit seems to give you pretty much everything you need to be successful. Uh, you also get the front shell pieces, which is really cool. There's also this little piece right here, which is the release mechanism. So we will need that. You can make this clear as well if you want, but I'm not gonna mess around because I don't care to make the, let me see, because I'm trying to look in the light. This is just like I've done on other controllers um, where it's completely clear and it looks okay. Let me grab one so I can show you. Here's one that I did. I don't know if I showed you guys this one or not, but this is a PlayStation uh, 5 controller. But you see, this is a complete case swap as well. And it looks okay, but it's a little, eh. So I wanna do something a little different. Uh, I'm not gonna switch this out. It's easy enough to do. I've done it in a bunch of videos. If you wanna look, I wanna go with something that looks more traditional. Maybe something like this. Uh, which is a controller that I built as well. So I may do something similar to this, but I don't know. I'm just trying to decide. I want to do something funky as opposed to something that's just kind of how it was intended. So I'm probably not going to use this, at least on this controller. So I'll save that for another build. Uh, I'm probably going to use these because I think this looks dope on this black. I'm just kind of looking now. So if you can do some clear, some black, I think that looks sick. They also give you some, some springs here if you need them. Um, I think everything that's in there you should, uh, everything that you have is everything that you should need. 
you got some extra screws here that you normally get you get their screwdriver and you get a smudger tool which you will probably need to take this controller apart uh, let me see if there's anything else in here there are these little dudes right here which i understand you have to put in the back um, because these go behind here to slide these up and down i think is what this is for so i'm going to look at the instructions and i'm just going to talk you through it and tell you my way of doing it and, and that's everything that's in the box so um, i don't know how long this is going to take to build and here's another part that you need as well i'm just looking um, this goes to, to probably maybe up under here or no up top this is the top piece I'm just looking and just trying to show you so you can tell this is the exact same piece. That's just a clear version. So right there. So that'll go in there. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start taking this thing apart. So I'm going to go through the process of breaking it down. I know right off the bat, the buttons have to, or the analogs have to come off and the back buttons have to go off. And I just turned the controller on by accident. So I'm going to turn it off again. Um, you can see the blue lights. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit so we can go ahead and get started. So first thing we probably need to do, we've already removed the analogs and we removed the back buttons here is we need to go ahead and release this front cover. And you release this to swap out these analogs anyway because they are replaceable on this controller. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach in here. I don't have enough fingernail right now, but I'm gonna swing in there and that should have released it. I heard it click, but let's see, there it goes got a lot of gook on this thing so this is the part and i keep turning that dang controller on play a drinking game every time i turn it on so they're gonna swap this part out with this part um so that i think that'll look kind of cool like that just to kind of give you a preview uh with the black i think that'll look sick uh but yeah that's what we got right now so we'll go ahead and we're going to swap out uh the next thing we need to do is we need to probably get in here because I think this separates from what I saw in the video the backing so I'm gonna get in here and see if I can open this up Let's see if I can if I can get it to open let's see it's a little tight no that's tight in there there we go Whew. It is tight. Um, be careful, you guys, when you're doing this. Uh, it's tighter than I thought. <laughs> Lada, that's what she said. Jokes in there. Or that's what he said or whatever. But it's, it's a little tight. And so just got to be mindful as you're taking this guy apart. And it pops right off. All right. So we got that guy off. Came out pretty straightforward. It's trying to look to see. I could probably hydro dip these, and these are the. You see how how discolored they are because these take probably the brunt of me handling it. But yeah, this is what it is, I guess. But yeah, that's what we got. Uh, that's the the actual piece that I wanted to keep if it were all black. Hopefully Extreme Raider somebody, if y'all are watching this, will release this with some of these that are a bit more aggressive. And when I say more aggressive, uh, maybe with this kind of texture on them, see that texture? So make this back plate piece with that, that kind of texture for this whole back plate that y'all make. That'll be a winner, man. If y'all can make that, I would, man, that'd be awesome. So I think that'd be cool if you could do that. Uh, so yeah, that's off. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start looking up and I'm going to show you this is that mechanism I was talking about with the spring loaded and you can see there's a spring right there where my thumb is. And so we and I think there's maybe one on the other side, but we're going to go ahead and start breaking this thing down so we can see how uniquely different it is. It does come apart in parts. And so, yeah, let me do a little bit of research and then we'll figure out how we're going to proceed. So stand by. Uh, remember I talked about this part next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out how to remove this thing So we're gonna grab it. I think and pull it forward to remove it I think that's how it goes Let me look and just kind of get a better idea Feel for this I think that's how this works. Oh, it just slips right out the bottom right there so you slide it forward and then this way to the left and then it'll just pop right out. And so you get this 
piece and you get the actual spring on it as well. Pull it up, hope that it'll focus and that's what you get. So I'm gonna lay all these parts off to the side. This is my first time doing this, so I wanna make sure that everything is going correctly as we are doing it for the first time. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna flip these up and we're gonna get rid of these guys. Should be able to just lift these out. Oh, they come down, I'm sorry. So these just drop straight out, boom, like this. I wanna keep them in order. Uh, I need to buy some more of these um, just so I can have a spare set. So I will probably after Christmas. So yeah, this is you know the, the core of how the controller works. Um, these I think come out just like they've always come out. You just lift in and pop up and they should pop out. Looks like that is in fact the case. Boom. Boom and boom. All right, so those are out. So now we're getting it broken down. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the back and see what else we can get to. Uh, let me do a little bit more research. I know there's a ton of screws in here. I mean, when I'm looking, I see screw, 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 screw. All those are gonna have to come out, I'm sure. Um, now that I've gotten those top L1 and L2 out, we're gonna go ahead, cause there is a screw right in there, just like there's always been. We're gonna remove those. So we wanna use, I'm gonna use their screwdriver cause I don't feel like digging mine out. Um, I've got a couple different ones. Um, if this starts to strip or act funny, I will switch to my screwdriver, my nice one. But for right now, we're gonna use this one. And just make sure you get a good purchase. And a good way to get these screws out is get the screw started, get your finger on the top, and then use your hand for some pressure. Get good pressure and then half turn. Try to get it start turning and then just go ahead and try to get it out. How a lot of the reason these get stripped, even with cheaper screwdrivers, they are cheap, cheaper screws if I'm being honest, but they get stripped because you guys aren't getting a, a nice firm purchase in there. And so that's how you end up stripping them often. So screw out, screw out, on to the next. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking all these screws out. Again, I showed you where they are. You can kind of see them, but again, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna spare you, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. Same uh, technique, I'll get all these out, then I'll come back, so stand by. Quick update, that didn't last long. I went with my nicer screwdriver, my Cobalt, just so I can get a little bit more purchase. At this point, it looks like we can go ahead and split this guy open, and you know this is my favorite part. So I'm gonna find a good spot, and I'm gonna yoke this thing. And I don't see anything connected, so that looks good. So I'm gonna finagle it off. And boom, we got, we got this guy separated. Let me widen out just a bit. There you go. So yeah, we're separated. So this is the actual factory backing. And that looks cool. Hmm. I wonder. I think I'm gonna keep this backing just because it says Sony on it. So I think I'm gonna take this backing and put it on this controller because I'm going with that whole uh, theme. I'm not gonna replace everything. I'm gonna keep some black components in there just to kind of make mine look different than whoever else might have one of these. Next thing we're gonna do is we're probably gonna have to take all this rest of this stuff off on the inside. This is a different battery than I've seen. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this guy, take a peek at it and see what we have here. Let's see, there's nothing crazy there. I think it just, see if I can use the smudging tool to pop it up. Uh, don't think I need to. I think it just popped up. <laughs> uh, show you that battery up close. Let me see if I can zoom in and tighten up a little bit. So that's the actual terminal or the actual post part right there. And it just literally sits on there and, and snaps in. So it's different than, than, what it, than what it used to, the little teeth. Hopefully I can make it make that out. So yeah, it's a little different than what we're used to, but still works just fine. Uh, next thing I need to do is I probably need to free these right here, which are the, the rumble motor cables, because I'm gonna have to free those, I already know. So let's go ahead and get those out of the way so I can grab it and maneuver it over the top like that. 
We're going to do it on the other side as well. I'm just taking this guy here and we're going to flip it out. Uh, be careful not to damage this wire. There you go. So they're both free. Alright, so those are out. We could probably pull these out. I'm just going to use my fingers. Pop them out just for now. You probably could have popped them out before you did that too, but they're out now, so that's cool. 